What's up, y'all? This is Bruce Wayne. This is Dirty Swift. And we're Mini Mafia. We're back to give you a recap of the first, first, first ever BlazeTrack.com Mini Mafia Ustream BBM review. <sighs> first week, uh, who stands out in your mind? Porsche. Porsche, Porsche. really stood out. I, I love Porsche's hustle. She had the marketing down. Like she was, she was killing in the chat room. Exactly. Um, her follow up on the internet. I've been watching her on Twitter. She's, she's going hard. She believes in herself, and that's real important um, for anybody who's doing these submissions. You really got to believe in yourself. And um, you know what we're giving is an opinion and a professional opinion. And I believe it's a valid opinion. But at the end of the day, you got to believe in what you're doing. What What I liked about Angie was necessarily it wasn't the most original record. You talking about Angie? From Canada. From Canada. Um, the thing about her record, was, which was really cool, was that it had tempo, it had energy, and even though she wasn't like the best singer or whatever, she she put off her vibe was good. Of course, it could have been a better record, like song wise or whatever, but she had all the elements. It was safe. That's what I remember. It yeah, was, it was very, it was very, very safe, safe, but it was it was well done. People should use this opportunity to 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 let it all out. Like they they shouldn't hold back on anything. Like, don't worry about if the beat isn't right. Don't worry about if you know, the vocals are too low. Just if you think it's something good and will really stand out, like just put it out there. I think I think people are, are just kind of like just being safe. Like, don't be safe. People need to remember too, and this is something we learned from like doing all the A and R meetings and stuff. Always put your best foot forward. Get to the point. Um, if, you, if you're trying to sell a track, make sure you get to the chorus or the real exciting part of it as fast as, as fast possible. possible. Skip all the long intros. Um, just, just, just get to it as fast as you can. Always put your best foot forward quickly. Because people get turned off, you know what I mean? If they hear 30 seconds of something they don't really get, you kind of lost them. It's funny what you say, like with that guy Matt Main, like he put five songs all back to back to back to back to back. And that was cool because he's hustling. <laughs> he's hustling the system and trying to get his money's worth. But it probably would have been better if he just had the best record first, you know? And, you know, um, it's better you put your first one that you feel really strong about and then be like, you know what, it'll make us listen to the second one. Let's make us listen to the third and fourth. But you got to kind of like um, spoon feed a little bit. You got you to gotta leave people wanting more. At the end of the day, it's about trying to make music that connects with the artist, whether you're a music producer or a songwriter. Just finding something that just connects, and then it brings us to the story. Like um, we we were in the studio with Fantasia when we did the song "When I See You," and um, Swift was like, "We should play this record." I was like, "I don't really know, man," because we originally did the record for a 14-year-old artist, and um, Swift was like, "Now nah, I'm gonna play it." I was like, "All right, man, follow your lead," and he played it for her, and she fell in love with it. Cause we didn't play a lot of music for her. She just there's one record she really loved. She wanted to meet us. We met. We kicked it. Then we played as just that one record that we felt was right. And then after that, we played her like six, seven records behind it. Next, you know, we was in the studio with her for a week when we were supposed to only spend really like a few hours. And then it turned into us really, really connecting. And then you know, a funny story is that I got sick while we was in the studio. So she was like, "Yo." Cause she's from North Carolina, she's like South, she's a Southern girl all the way. So she was like, you need a hottie toddy. I was like, what, what's a hottie toddy? She said, don't worry about it, I got you. So she got us, she got me some tea and put like, like kvassi in it. It was Hennessy. It was, it was like honey. Hennessy. Honey. And honey, it was, yeah, but she, she put too much in it. <laughs> Yo, next you know we recorded or whatever. Yo, I was fucked up. But what's crazy is that I was fucked up and basically drunk on a record that got us nominated for a Grammy because you were passed out. We was having, we just was having fun, and you know, we had success with that record because it was a record that came from something that really connected with the artist. That was review number one, and um, please, man, please, 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 submit to BlazeTrack.com. We're looking for that next. Incredible star.